Police and protesters have clashed in the Thai capital Bangkok during a third straight day of anti-government demonstrations. Police used water cannons to try to disperse the thousands strong crowd, advancing on them with riot shields and batons. The protesters who are defying a ban on public gatherings hit back with umbrellas and threw bottles. They are calling for reforms to the constitution and monarchy, as well as for the prime minister to step down. Well, for more on this uh, and the situation on the street right now, let's bring in uh, Philip Sherwell from Bangkok. He's the Asia correspondent for the British newspaper Sunday Times. Philip, we've seen police and protesters clash. What's the situation there right now? Yeah, those dramatic scenes were playing out about an hour ago. Uh, the confrontation took about 30 minutes. Um, the, at the situation right now is that the protest leaders um, encouraged the, most of the crowd to disperse. They, um, they, were, uh, they had their umbrellas as protection, but they were up against heavily um, equipped riot police uh, and those water cannon. And the water cannon was uh, laced with blue ink and some sort of chemical mix that was causing irritants, or irritation to people's eyes and their skin. So the protest leaders were to regroup back to a nearby university. And remember, many of these uh, protesters are students, so many of them are actually high school teachers. And so they have announced that's it for tonight. They, they, they can't take on this sort of overwhelming difference in force. We expect that they will try and re regroup again somewhere tomorrow. They are clearly learning lessons from Hong Kong protesters, not just from the use of umbrellas, but from this idea of sort of bait and switch on your locations. So um, we're hoping that, you know, for, for the, the tonight's confrontation has, has, has finished, but um, mm. it's not clear if the police will try and go looking for protesters in the university. They have blue, um, some of them will have blue ink on their skin now. So, you know, they, they, they could be identified as having taken part in uh, tonight's mm. event. Well, we're seeing live pictures from the streets of uh, Bangkok uh, right now. There are no confrontations as far as uh, we can see uh, uh, on these uh, pictures. Um, talk to us about the demands uh, of the protesters, Philip. Well, these demands have, um, have morphed and um, become much more far-reaching. They started earlier this year with um, uh, just uh, anger over the banning of a progressive opposition party that was popular with um, young people and students and which was banned in sort of rather contentious and controversial um, circumstances by, uh, by the Constitutional Court. But they have now, um, they've morphed into a wider ranging political demands. There is anger that, um, that the government that's in place now is essentially led by the uh, coup leader from um, um, 2014 and from other... Um, um, and with other generals who took part in the, the, last, um, the last coup. And so they're demanding a new constitution. They're demanding that government steps down. But most contentiously and most explosively, they've added, many of them have added demands for reform to the um, royal family's role in Thailand to, uh, to their agenda. They want to look at its budget, how it receives funds from the government. And they also want a review of, its, of the political influence of the king. Now, the royal family is a long venerated institution here, uh, loved by so many, by many Thais. And uh, previously, it's been considered absolutely taboo to, um, to raise questions about its role. Mm. Do you think, can the protesters hope to get any of their demands met? It's, it's, a, it's a tough, tough ask. I mean, they're up against the, um, the, the ruling establishment, which is the military-backed government and the monarchy. Um, they may have, um, you know, numbers in terms of uh, you know, people on the streets at the moment, but the uh, government of uh, Chanacha, the prime minister, the former army chief, has made clear that there's only one place that they're willing to maybe make some cash concessions, which is on some review to the constitution, but they've said even that will be a, a two-year uh, uh, process. But they have said that um, he said today, General Prayut, that he would not be quitting, and they have made absolutely clear that any questions about the role, role of the royal family are, um, are off limits. And they've also made clear they will uh, prosecute people um, who, who pursue this. Philip Sherwell, thank you very much for your reporting from Thailand.